you guys. <laughs> um, NBA Youngboy. Are y'all following up on what's going on with NBA Youngboy? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. So. Baited up his face. B. Besides that, he's going at everybody. He's going at everybody? Yeah. yeah I seen him going at Dirk and all of them. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't usually cover a lot of, like, American stuff, but, like, this has been, like, a thing that I've been seeing popping up on the YouTube, like, searches over and over again. Like, he started going at Dirk all of a sudden in a few tunes, you know, talking about, like, King Von passing and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then all the old block people, everybody started getting at him, plus Lee Chopper and a few other guys. Then he dropped another tune. And then the next tune, he just went at everybody all at once. Yeah. I seen the man Def was or claimed that he Def was NLE Chopper in the fucking airport. <laughs> you all fuck with NBA young boy like that? I fuck, I fuck with him still. I, I bump on to his tracks, you know? I'm not going to say I don't listen to NBA young mm. boy. I'm sorry, I, listen to I listen to all of them. Yeah. All of them. Dirk. Dirk. Dirk too, you know? But I bump Dirk way more than NBA young boy. Who, who's, the, who, who's the guy? Like, who's the number one guy that you bump? Dirk? Dirk. Everybody says that. Holy, I remember I used to but diss I fuck Dirk with, like, you know, who, <laughs> you know who I fuck with too? Rilo Rodriguez. Rilo Rodriguez. You're putting me on to somebody new. I've never okay, heard of him. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Rilo he Rodriguez. He's from, he's from, he's from Alabama. Alabama. Alabama? Alabama. But he signed to Fort okay. PF. You know, he's under little babies. Like, yeah, yeah so. because, you know, a lot of this beef stems from, like, getting old, bro. Um, <laughs> Quando Rondo. Okay, because NBA Young Boys. Is is a sign quando rock? That's one of yeah. his artists, right? So with that whole thing with King Von and everything like that, he's gonna take Quando Rondo's side. The whole thing that started popping off off of this whole thing is taking sides when it comes to like your rapper relationships. Yeah. What are y'all thoughts on that? Because there's certain mans now who are in the industry who like and Lee Chopper. He's taking Dirk and them side. So now he's got to deal with anything like that comes from NBA Young Boys people, yeah. the fans, because you know they got he's got like rabid fans, like oh, Young Boy better, Young Boy better. They might <laughs> try to swing on you in the fucking street. And to you, is that what keep... happened to him too? Though, no? yeah, that's what happened to him. But also too, him. you have to keep in mind too <laughs> what Young Boys thing is. Yo, Dirk and them do that though. I found attack NLE Chopper. Yeah, I found the chop on NLE Chopper in the, the, chop, uh, the airport. Yeah, claim that he knocked already. Him. But yeah, what I was saying too. Um, NBA Young Boys point is, yo, those guys do it all the time. Like when yeah. somebody dies on on their opposition, they make fun of them. They make songs about them. So yeah. why is it like not okay if I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if it happens to you guys, like yeah. fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys take. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what do you think? You, As the artist, you think it's okay to take sides with not guys from your hood or something like guys that you've met in the industry now? Just they're just your rap friends. No, it's like I, I got one because you did a song with Bugs this um last year. No, that you were on the Auto Theft yeah, remix. Yeah, I have a song. So like, if but I know, know, but like I know him from like before the rap. Mm-hmm. Like you know, mm-hmm. say, like like I know him before, like literally before the rap. Okay. Certain yeah. shit is like, you know, you know people before rapping shit. You know, you like just keep it a certain way. You know, like yeah. You know, don't get involved in everything. You know, like, yeah. especially just industry shit. You know. I just stick to my side, you know, mm-hmm. well, my lane. Yeah, because it can get sticky. Like, you know, like you didn't come up with this guy. He's just some guy that you met now that you're like in L.A. running around and whatever, mm. whatever. You know, you guys have a few tunes together and now you got his fucking problems. Like, the fuck? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't do it as an artist, right? Like, you should just focus on your music. Like, that's not my beef. Like, that has nothing to do with but me. That, but that's, how, that's how it always goes, though. though. Like, you know, like. You know that's how it goes, regular, if, big or not. Like when you, if, even if you're not part of the beef, once you do a song with someone, they're gonna say you fuck with that person, and then boom, bop. You know, so mm-hmm. when the baby, like that, the baby did it with Meg Thee Stallion and and my boy there, Tori. He oh, was yeah. just like, "Yo, fam, like I did a song with Meg, but like I'm gonna do a song with Tori too." Like, mm-hmm. like mm. yeah, she don't rock with him, but at yeah. the end of the day, he's that's like, "Fam, we yeah. do music. Like this is business, bro. Like, music, I'm not on. music, right? Yeah. yeah, but what look what ended up happening." Once he did the song with Tori, she was off of him. She's like, I'm not fucking with the baby no more. And she publicly jumped out saying, I'm not fucking with this nigga no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you get with the next well, that's guy. Like, that's like, like, that's nothing. He's not really losing off her. Like, who's making this? Like, <laughs> she has her girl fan base. Like, <laughs> yeah. he has, you a big, know? A big girl fan base though. Fan base. Huge. Yeah, but you know, he, he is right though. Because he would 
with the baby, he probably weighed out those options before making that move. Yeah, fact. Like, am I going to lose a lot of fans from making this move and fucking doing the tune with Tori? Or is it a soft thing? You know what I'm saying? If he or he loses fans, he probably loses, but he's going to gain. Same way. It's a two-way street with that one because people are going to fuck with him now. Like, yo, he fucks with Tori. Tori's fans are going to start fucking with him more. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's street. Yeah, I, I just found it interesting, like uh, you know, with this whole rap thing, because all these guys are they're all they all made it. They're not in the trenches anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like for them to be beefing back and forward like this, different decisions get to be, have to be made at this point now. You know what I'm they're saying? They're not in the no. They're still in the trenches though. That's the problem, and their mindset is still in the trenches. Mm. So it's just like they're not moving as artists, fam. They're moving as like yo, I'm still street nigga. Like you still can't say anything on the song. I'm gonna go shoot you. I'm gonna go fucking. It's on when I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, salute to all of them. You know what I'm saying. We'll be keeping an eye on this story. Like like I said, we don't usually usually do a lot of American stories, but you know, we decided you know eh, got to get into a couple of things. You know what I'm saying. But you know, I gotta. We got our guest in the building. You know what I mean. We got Block Boy Twitch. We got John C in the building. Hey.